Yo, I don't really talk about this enough, to be honest. Like, I've talked about wanting to own a fucking old folks home or something like that. I've talked about wanting to own an orphanage. I've talked about wanting to own a moving company slash junk removal company. If not one, definitely junk removal company. If not a moving company, 100% would move over towards the junk removal company just because uh, the other thing would be is uh, a thrift store because those could easily go hand in hand on top of the orphanage. But what I haven't really discussed, which I've also thought about deeply, is only the security company. And the security company would literally cover from kids to adults to elderly. And that's because police don't always do that good of a job. Don't get me wrong. They get paid. Not enough. Not trained well enough for some police officers. And the security company would be to protect mainly. And because all the agencies would go hand in hand with each other. I don't really care what the payments would be. If you couldn't even afford us, you'd still have us because it's not necessarily can you pay us. It's how do we make the future better while we take care of the shit that's going on currently. And how do we do that? Well, we put people in positions to be able to help others that need help, those that are willing to actually put in forth the help, but can't get it done because there is a distraction, there is an enemy, there is a hurdle. And if you got rid of that hurdle, or if you at least protect them from that hurdle, then there would be more of a helpful person to the community and they won't be breeding other toxic and chaotic children like just because the child comes from chaotic parents doesn't parents doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a chaotic child but the likeliness of it is going to be higher so therefore you can hire us which would be very 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 intense to even get into the agency for the fact of the matter i would have psychologists psychiatrists martial artists as well as gun owners and and or holders because your mind and your uh, discipline has to be very strong for you to be able to be around those people for long periods of time for the fact that everybody's going to be varying. You have to have the mental capacity to deal with their stressors and have the discipline within yourself not to be one of those people that is causing chaos to their life. Because it's easy to be good for a little bit, to be helpful for a little bit. It's easy to hold something up for a couple seconds, but to actually hold it, that's where the challenge comes in. So for sure... When it comes to me owning that business, I'm going to be heavily in <laughs> heavily invested on those minds that are in the agency because I want them to help the people but not be affected by the people to the point that they start to either hurt the people or become just like the people. I'd rather the people be more like the security that's going to be helping them, calm, cool, and collected. So therefore, they have to be multi-talented and have disciplines and morals. So therefore, they need psych evaluations. Not necessarily a degree, but at least peace within oneself. With the willingness and the ability to be crazy, because whoosh, you have to be crazy, because you have to fight crazy. If you can't fight crazy with crazy, then how do you stop crazy? Logic don't work. Crazies don't listen to logic. And there's crazy good and there's crazy bad. Sadly, crazy bad runs this world, but for the fact that we all perceive things differently, what is bad? What is good?